What's up, everybody, and welcome to my Friday Night Smackdown review. Um, Smackdown, folks, what do we got going on Smackdown tonight, especially with this whole WrestleMania backlash, or just call it backlash, in my opinion. What do we really got going on in the show for Smackdown tonight? Some even would wonder, could AEW came on at the same time with Smackdown, because they probably didn't have that much to compete with when you think about it. But um, we kicked it off with RK Bro being there. Huge pop for RK Bro coming out there. Um... Big Randy chance and whatnot. Riddle saying it's great to be back on SmackDown and everything. And say, so, you know, we didn't come here to hang out and stuff. But uh, Riddle says, you know, yo, man, you know, he was in Worcester. And, you know, uh, yeah, Worcester, Massachusetts and what's and that. And, you know, we talk about the snap of Cab and talk about all this other stuff. But Orton says we're not here for that. We're here for the Usos because the Usos kicked Orton in the face last Monday on Raw. Um, basically, <clears throat> excuse me, basically went to talk about Riddle. But yeah, Orton called out the Usos, though, um, basically saying, you know, uh, I guess if they were going to accept this whole challenge or anything, they asked, you know, Orton asked the Riddle, you got anything else to say? Uh, he said no, Usos came to the ring, basically saying, talking about this is where the bloodline runs this show, this is SmackDown, you know, we run this show and stuff, um, Usos says, so y'all accept the challenge, what's it going to be, huh, were y'all going to accept it or not? Uh, but, you know, Uso say, you know, we done this, we the champions, basically talking about their title reign and everything, that, uh, you know, RK Bro is the twos and that Uso's is the ones and whatnot. But Orton says, you know, listen, man, you know, I like your entire family, hung out with, you know, The Rock, your uncles, cousins, but y'all a pair of assholes and everything, okay? And listen, man, uh, you talk about your record setter, record setting title reign, listen, I've been setting records over in this company for the past 20 years now, you ain't, so you don't need to, do not forget who I am, Okay. Because, you know, me and my partner here, we got the most dangerous letters in the uh, Dada B, and that is R-K-O. Um, as Riddle, you know, they accepted the challenge. So, um, big pop right there. The people really didn't want to see this whole um, match come up at Backlash for the unification of the tag team title. So, uh, get ready for that. <clears throat> and stuff. Um, next, um... Real and Orton went in the back talking about, you know, the whole unification match uh, and stuff. But it's not going to be tonight. But later on, it'll be Jimmy Uso versus uh, Matt Riddle then. So, get ready for that. <coughs> Choked right there. Uh, Rhea Ripley when it gets Naomi. Um, good match. Shit, we haven't seen Ripley in a minute now. Mostly been Liv Morgan showing up by herself. But Ripley is back. Um, good match between her and Naomi. I figured Ripley was going to get the win given that the, raw ta that the tag titles will be on the line. On Monday Night Raw this Monday, so uh, Ripley got the rip tied on Naomi and won the match right there, so not bad. Uh, Happy Corbin was in the back talking about Mad Cat Moss. Um, you know, listen, man, uh, he was a minion, he's a gopher and all that stuff, he's never on my level. You know, uh, he was fun to laugh at, but we didn't laugh with him for the jokes and stuff, and that's why he's a laughing stock of SmackDown. Drew Gulak, haven't seen him in a good minute, for some reason he's now auditioning to be an interviewer now. Um, interviewing Mad Cat Moss. Moss talking about all the jokes he had to tell to Corbin were horrible. He was an audience of one and stuff. But now um, he's doing his own thing. And, um, you know, called the bald man who likes puns. And then talked about Humberto and them, which Matt Cat Moss went against. Um, Humberto, which not much of a match. Moss won the match. So not much I can really say from there. Uh, Charlotte was in the bat talking to Adam Pierce, talking about, you know, Ronda, the whole I quit match. Uh, Gulak came in, you know, talking about his audition, and Charlotte said, so, listen, you gave up being a competitor to come out and interview her, huh? All right, you know, don't be nervous, uh, be in the ring. We're gonna have an interview later on. Um, basically, Gulak was in there to interview Charlotte. Um, Gulak talked about, you know, if she rejected, um, she, you know, Ronda's match from, uh, last week, and, you know, W management made the match anyways. As Gulak, you know, went on to ask Charlotte about, you know, are you concerned about Ronda's submission game? Charlotte said, uh, you know, she never refused the match or anything. And, you know, uh, she doesn't worry because, you know, she didn't lose at WrestleMania. She won. And, you you know, you watch it. I made her tap out, which the fans shouldn't, you know, Ronda tapped out. No, the fans made it that Charlotte tap tapped out. But um, Charlotte says, uh, when you tap, they chant, you tapped out. So I was adjusting my bra. I was adjusting my bra, okay? Um, you know, you all want to say I tapped and I quit and all that stuff. Uh, listen. <clears throat> okay, that was the referee and everything. Um, Charlotte asked, like, you know, 
Why did you quit once again and become an interviewer? Huh? Stop asking stupid questions. And listen, man, you all, you people out there, you all quit. You probably quit the gym. You quit your jobs. Even your relationships, you quit. Okay? And that Gula, you don't deserve to interview me, okay? I am the submission master. And then she, you know, told Gulak to leave. But then uh, she chop blocked Gulak and put him in the figure eight, making him tap out. So, um, yeah, man, beat the living hell out of Gulak and just being a natural heel out there, I guess, for Charlotte. But uh, Gulak, since he's really got nothing much going on, let's just have him get beat up by Charlotte then and make him tap out. Oh, I quit. I quit. I quit. And just kill this man. So I didn't even know Gulak was really still around here until like, tonight. Okay. Um, next, though, uh, I know they had a Walter video package. Sami Zayn um, talking about... Drew McIntyre, which we're going to get a match again, but Sammy says he's not run away. I'm a master strategist, which we had to match again, and he ended up running away out of there again with Goulet, with um, McIntyre on the chase. Um, but as you know, Sammy basically ran backstage. Adam Pearce said, you know, we're not going to do this again next week, so next week will be a lumberjack match now. Ricochet went against General Mahal for the Intercontinental Championship. Ricochet won. Shooting Star Press. Don't really got much to say from that. Um, Sheamus and crew in the back, Butch and all that, funny Pat McAfee called Butch the Rabbit Wolverine, I caught that, um, and stuff, and, you know, they telling, you know, Butch need to, you know, just chill out, who are we going after, New Day, and then Butch left, Butch, folks, I don't know why I'm saying Butch at this point, it's Pete Dunn at the end of the day, but, look at me, I'm already getting used to them saying Butch, because they say Butch so many times, you're used to yourself saying Butch then, but it's Pete Dunn at the end of the day, uh, which New Day, I guess they were signing some stuff in the back, but, um, you know, Pete Dunn came in, and Sheamus and them, uh, joined in. Lacey Evans had another, um, you know, I guess, um, not a, well, not a vignette, but I guess, uh, what, what's the word? Just her talking in general. Basically talked about, you know, she, um, you know, her father found her and her mother in Texas, and, you know, they were scared, and, you know, there was a lot of mental illness and addiction and violence going on. Very just sad stuff about child protective services being in, and even, you know, they had to learn to survive on her own, cooking for her dad just to, you know, have food being thrown back at them, you know, with glass and food everywhere, and him being arrested on assault charges and stuff. And, you know, talk about, look at the positives of the worst situation, talk about she's a confident, you know, daughter, mother, sister, wife, you know, friend, WWE um, superstar now. And, you know, she doesn't think she's better than other women, but she's gone through a lot and everything. You, you know, some people wonder if this is ex exploitation at the same time. Because I get it, we're being real with her now, instead of doing all the sassy Southern Bell thing and stuff. But, um, you know, where is this going? And I get a very sad story and stuff. And, you know, even Natalia's just mocking her now. Like, what's all these new people around? Why is Lacey just being, you know, all this sad? Like, come on, t we've all had tough lives, okay? Um... You know, talk about this to turn this uh, locker room to let the land of opportunity to a playground now, which, come on, then we just have Natalia beat up Cora J the other night. And now, you know, talking to Raquel Rodriguez, Ra Raquel trying to introduce himself, which they shook hands, but Natalia nervously walked off with uh, Shayna Baszler then. So um, we'll see what happens there. But um, the Lacey Evans stuff, like I said, it's not bad, but uh, I know you're being more real with her the whole Marine thing and stuff, but how much of the sob story are we going to keep going far with this, though? But in the main event, we did get Matt Riddle versus Jimmy Uso. Not a bad match, I'll say that. Of course, Jay, you know, Orton getting involved. You know, Orton doing the, you know, dropping Jay onto the t announce table, which uh, Jimmy tried to get um, Riddle, but Riddle got him with, like, a RKO in midair and took him out as RK Bro basically, you know, popped the crowd and sent them home happy, you know, winning the match and stuff with Riddle getting the pin. So, other, you know, other than that, man, that's SmackDown tonight, folks. So, not much I can say from here other than the whole Backlash show coming up. Probably the biggest thing was probably just the Usos and uh, RK Bro segment since they had the biggest pop of the entire night. And I thought the Charlotte segment was pretty funny, even though it killed um, Gulak once again. <clears throat> again, but pretty funny at the same time. So other than that, that's my review of SmackDown. Comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at hoodin 890 That's all I really got to say about this show this week. So yeah, I'm out. See you guys then. Peace.